coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your fourth STL 2.0 tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to beginning we're gonna begin learning about events. And so what we're gonna do uh, right now is we're just going to get rid of um, all the error checking and stuff just to make our code a little easier to read so you, we already know how to do the error checking and if you want to keep the error checking stuff you can do that by all means do that um, but uh, for now we're just gonna leave that out uh, so what we're gonna do is um, to start off we're going to create a boolean and we're gonna say is running and we're going to set it to true and we're going to say while is running then we're going to execute something so what we've just created is our game loop so our game loop is going to continue executing over and over and over and over until we tell it to stop whether we press the X button whether you say quit in our game or in our application it's just going to keep on going until we give it a reason to stop and so we're going to give it a reason to stop um, in this tutorial so in order to use events, we're going to create an SDL event and we're going to call it EV uh, for event. And what an event does is that whenever something happens, such as a mouse movement or a, a, a click of the button, a controller button or a press of the keyboard or something like that, it detects it as, a, as an event that just happened in your application and it stores, um, it basically when that event happens we can choose what we want to do uh, when that event happens and so we're going to do that in our code right now so within within our game loop what we're going to do is we're going to make another loop and this loop is called the event loop and this with this event loop we're going to call sdl poll event and we're going to take our reference to ev and we're going to say not equals to zero then we want to do something so how poll event works is that whenever each frame that we update it's going to give us a list of events that happen so whether we press the uh, a key and we move the mouse and blah 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 so say we have three events what it does is that it puts it into a queue and an event queue so when something happens it goes into the queue and so on and so forth and what the poll event does is it goes to each and every event that happened that frame and processes it and then it gets rid of it it gets rid of it in the queue so we say okay while poll event so while the queue is not equal to zero so while we have items within our queue we want to keep doing this event loop so we want to pro we want to continue processing each event so while we're processing our, our events we're going to check to see we're going to say if ev.type is equal to sdl quit capital quit not the same as this one right this one is an enum this one is a function so we're going to say if ev.type is equal to sdl quit we're going to set is running equals to false and otherwise we're just going to say sdl update window surface and we're going to pass in the window like so and then if they quit, if they press the quit button, the X button, we're going to set it to false, we're going to destroy the window, and we're going to uh, quit SDL. So basically what's going to happen is that our, what we're going to do, I'm going to run this program right now. So right now I'm moving my mouse, it's pulling events, Every, I'm clicking everything on the keyboard, it's pulling all these events, right? And so the event queue is processing, and as soon as I click the X button, all of a sudden it says okay we pulled our event and our event type was SDL quit that's the type of event it was so let's execute what's in here is running is equal to false and it closes the window so basically that's it so this was a fairly easy tutorial in the next tutorial we will be learning about keyboard events so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe don't forget to like my page on facebook follow on twitter follow me on twitter and don't forget to sign up on my website as well so thanks for watching and bye